Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss join method in Python pandas. So join method is used to join two data frames side by side. Before that, we have discussed concat method. Using concat method, we can join two data frames one below the other or we can uh, join them side by side. So when you join two data frames one below the other, you matches the columns of that data frame and check the columns of other data frame and keep the similar column one below the other. And when you join the data frames side by side, so what you have to check, you have to check the rows according to the indexes. So similar index, you can see these indexes and these indexes. So similar indexes will be one after the other. So zeros index position of this data frame and this data frame will come in a single row. And one first index of this and this data frame will come in a single row. Same other uh, indexes will be matched and all the rows of different data frame will come in a single row for matching indexes. So we will discuss join method in this uh, video. So join method is used to join columns with other data frame either on index or on key column. So what it is, let us discuss. So when we learned concat method, so in concat we used indexes of both the data frames to combine them. But in case of join method, you can use indexes of both the data frame to join it or you can use a column of one data frame and the index of other data frame to join them. So you should remember for join you will use either index or column for the left data frame and join with the index of right data frame. This is my right data frame. This is my left data frame. So for right data frames, we will always use indexes to join. And for left data frame, we can use index or column to join. So now again, uh, see the definition. Join columns with other data frames either on index or on key column. So this is the function join that we will use to join the data frame. This function is inside data frame. So we will call this function using data frame object. Then other data frame we will pass here. And all the these are all the parameters that we will use in uh, join method. So we will discuss these all the parameters one by one as we go on in our video. I have also explained these here. So first we will discuss other parameters. So other is can be a data frame or series. And join will be performed on its index. Other is a data frame. You can consider this as other data frame. So join will be performed on its index. Always on its index. And this is my left data frame using which we call them uh, call this function join. So on left data frame, we can use its index or its column to join with the other data frame. So let us see one example joining two data frame on indices. I'm having one data frame this and second data frame is this columns X, Y and Z. So when I combine these two data frames, what will happen? Total X, Y, Z, A, B, C columns will come. There are four indexes 0, 1, 2, 3 will come. If there is 15, 20, 23 is there. So what will happen? It will check 0th index of this and 0th index of this and will keep the output with these values. Similarly, for all the other indexes, the output will match and will come in a single row. Consider this example here. I am having one data frame this another data frame is this You can see there is employee ID 
employee name and department here employee id 1 and address you can see both the columns is having different names we will see uh, if both the data frame is having similar column then what will happen we will see in our next examples consider this case where i am having two data frames with all the columns have different data names so if i use employee data frame this is my left data frame dot join and this is other data frame i want to join these two data frames i am not passing any other parameter here so all the parameters will be come as by default so what is happening there are three columns there are two columns the total five columns are coming and it is combining on its indexes so as i told you earlier on my other data frame it will always be joined on its index and for this data frame left data frame i can use its index or its any column so in this case uh, i have not provided any parameter here so by default it will be joined on its indexes so see this one ram and sales is coming with one in mumbai one ram sales one mumbai two siam hr to delhi because this one and this one to delhi and this two line with this two line so this two with three mohan accounts for hyderabad so this is coming so this is uh, one example of joining the data frame with default parameters we can join two data frames with left as column as i told you i can use this uh, indexes to join i can use its column and its index also so for this other data frame it will always be joined on its index so in this case i am using left column and right uh, data frames index so i am using left data frame column which column i am using i have to provide it in on parameter so this is on parameter so on i am providing employee id so i am using this employee id to, to join with its index so this will always be indexed it will not change in last example i was using both the indexes in both the data frames currently i am using left data frames employee id and uh, other data frames index so i will provide it in on parameter see the output what is happening the output is uh, combined now on employee id and uh, index employee id of this data frame and index of this data frame now combined it is having one will be combined with one so one ram and sale one ram sale will be combined with two and delhi two and delhi fine now its two will be combined with this two so two sham hr will be combined with four hyderabad okay and three is not there three so three is coming three will be joined with which thing three will be joined with any end and any end because its matching value is not found so what you have seen we have received all the uh, employee ids from left data frame but i have not received this zeroth position so this is by default left data frame all the values of left data frame will come so this is on parameter so we have seen other and on join a data frame and series we can join a data frame and series so this is my series you can see this is series and this is data frame let us join these two so i am using data frame dot join this will always be a data frame we will call join function using data frame dot 
because join is inside data frame. You can see that data frame should always be left side because join is a data frame function. It cannot be called using series. I cannot call s1.join. This is wrong. I have to call data frame dot join. So this is my uh, joining line. So see the output. I have not provided anything that way. That means it will be joined on indexes. So it's index. Zero will be joined joined with this zero. This one will be joined with this one and this two will be joined with this two. So first employee ID, name and department are coming. Then you can see this series name is salary. So we have given name of the series at the time of series creation. So this salary name is coming. Now you can see zero is having one RAM sales. So one RAM sales is coming with 50,000 salary. So likewise, all these three are coming. So it has joined on their indexes. Next example, how parameter. How is used to tell you how to join the data frame. In our previous example, we have seen the default is left. So all the values from left is coming, but only the matching values from other data frame or right data frame is coming. So in this case, we can change this default uh, behavior. This is my first data frame. This is my second data frame. So here employee ID name and department is there here employee ID one and address is there. So when I join them, using inner you can see this how and on I have given employee ID so this employee ID will be used to join with this index and first parameter I have given inner inner means all the matching values only will come so consider this will be used to join with this because on is employee ID so one will be joined with one two will be joined with two and three is not there. So inner will print all the matching values. Matching values. So you can see only one and two are coming employee ID. So only matching values are coming. Now let us see the second one that is outer. So in case of outer, all the values from both the side will come. So uh, I am joining this with this. So there is having one, two and three. There is having zero, one, two. So all the unique values will have will be zero. See one first we will match two with two and one with one. So you can see my employee ID. One is coming, two is coming with matching values. Ram sales to Delhi. Ram sales with two Delhi and then Shyam HR with four Hyderabad Shyam HR with four Hyderabad then what will happen for three three is not having here so three will come with NAN and zero zero is not having value here so name and department will come NAN and employee ID 1 and address will come as 0 and Mumbai. Uh, 1 and Mumbai. This is 1 and Mumbai. Now, the left one. So in this case, the all the left values will come and all the matching values from right will come. Consider this now again. Left. So this is my left. This is my right. So all the values from left will come. I am joining on these two. So we can join on one and two. All the values from left and all the matching values from this is the behavior we have seen here. 
this is the default behavior so you can see employee id 123 is coming all the values from left and only matching values 1 and 2 so 1 this and this is coming from right you can see here and n a n is coming for 3 but 0 is not coming because only matching values are coming let us discuss right in this case all the values from right will come and only matching values from left will come consider this again in this case all will come here and matching will come here so you, you will find this output as employee we are combining on employee id and this so all these values will come 0 1 2 you can see 0 1 and 2 is coming 0 1 2 is coming and for left only matching values what is the matching values 1 and 2 so for the left 1 and 2 is coming and other is n a n so this is uh, how parameter you can see this is how parameter type of join to be performed left all the data from left data frame matching data from right data frame this is the default behavior if i do not provide how then this will be used and write all the data for, uh, all the values from right data frame matching data values from left data frame outer all the data from both the side inner only matching data from both the side so this is your how parameter let us now see l suffix and r suffix suffix to use from left and right data frames overlapping columns let us discuss this l suffix and r suffix when column names are same in both the frames then it is used to print the output with suffix data see these two there is a little bit change now i have given the column name as same previously you can see in every examples we have seen till now we have used employee id and employee id one but in this case there is employee id and employee id so in uh, when these two data frames will be combined so the resultant data frame will have two different columns so our data frame cannot have two similar columns so we have to provide a suffix to it employee id you can see that in the previous cases both the employee ids are coming so in this case both are different names so they can be in a data frame but if i use these two with same name then uh, there will be a problem when i create the data frame so you can see when i give this print statement the employee data frame dot join then on employee id then error will occur so to remove this error we have to use l suffix and r suffix so l suffix is for left data frame suffix with for the left data frame this is right data frame suffix so for the co column on which we are joining the left data frame and right data frame will have suffix this is underscore l this is underscore r that we have given So this is l suffix and r suffix there is another parameter sort so when we combine two different data frames so our output will come like this here i am combining use on data employee id and uh, uh, how is outer that means both the uh, values from both the side will come so you can see this output similarly i am using it here with sort is equal to true so when sort is equal to true so see these two outputs this may this output is sorted on employee id 
So the sort is used to sort the resultant data frame on joint key. So this is my join function of data frame. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in comments. In next video, we will see the difference between join, uh, merge and concat. Thanks for watching. We will meet in next video.